It can also be used to monitor patients with chronic conditions, reducing the need for frequent office visits. 3D Printing 3D printing is being used to create custom implants, prosthetics, and surgical instruments. This technology allows doctors to create highly personalized medical devices that are tailored to individual patients' needs. For example, 3D printing can be used to create custom prosthetic limbs that fit perfectly and are comfortable for the patient to wear. It can also be used to create surgical instruments that are optimized for specific procedures, reducing the risk of complications. Stem Cell Therapy Stem cell therapy involves the use of stem cells to repair damaged tissues and organs in the body. Stem cells have the potential to differentiate into many different types of cells, making them a promising tool for regenerative medicine. Stem cell therapy is already being used to treat conditions like leukemia and lymphoma, and it has the potential to be used to treat a wide range of other diseases in the future. Non-invasive brain stimulation Non-invasive brain stimulation involves using electrical or magnetic fields to stimulate specific areas of the brain. This technology is being used to treat a variety of neurological and psychiatric disorders, including depression, anxiety, and Parkinson's disease. Non-invasive brain stimulation is a safe and effective alternative to traditional treatments like medication or surgery. Wearable Technology Wearable technology such as smartwatches and fitness trackers are being used to monitor a wide range of health indicators, including heart rate, blood pressure, and sleep patterns. This data can be used to identify potential health issues early on, allowing for early intervention and prevention. Wearable technology can also be used to help patients manage chronic conditions like diabetes and asthma, making it easier for them to monitor their symptoms and stay on top of their treatment plans. Microbiome Research The microbiome refers to the trillions of microorganisms that live in and on the human body. Recent research has shown that the microbiome plays a crucial role in human health, influencing everything from digestion to immune function. By studying the microbiome, scientists are gaining a better understanding of how it interacts with the body and how it can be manipulated to improve health outcomes. Microbiome research has the potential to lead to new treatments for a wide range of conditions, including autoimmune diseases and mental health disorders. Artificial Organs Artificial organs are being developed to replace or supplement the function of damaged or diseased organs. These devices can help improve the quality of life for patients with conditions like heart failure and kidney disease, who would otherwise require a transplant. Artificial organs are still in the early stages of development, but they have the potential to revolutionize the field of organ transplantation and save countless lives in the process. Epigenetics. Epigenetics refers to the study of how changes in gene expression can be caused by factors other than changes in the DNA sequence itself. This field of research has the potential to shed light on the underlying causes of many diseases, including cancer and neurological disorders. By understanding how epigenetic changes occur, scientists can develop new treatments and therapies that target these changes directly. Digital Therapeutics Digital therapeutics are software-based treatments that are designed to treat specific medical conditions. These treatments can be highly effective, and they have the added benefit of being accessible to patients at any time and from any location. Digital therapeutics are being used to treat a wide range of conditions, including depression, addiction, and chronic pain. 
As technology continues to advance, it is likely that we will see even more innovative digital therapeutics emerge in the coming years. Organoids Organoids are miniature, lab-grown organs that can be used to study diseases and test potential treatments.